So what happens if we're squaring a bracket? Well, what we need to remember is that b squared means b times b. Just like 3 squared is 3 times 3, not 3 times 2, giving us a value of 9. So x plus 2 in a bracket squared means that we're going to write that bracket twice. And we're going to multiply it. And again, in algebra, we don't put the multiplication sign in between the brackets. So we've got x plus 2 upon x plus 2. Now, it's important that you remember that step because otherwise you'll be tempted to say that x plus 2 squared equals x squared plus 4, and you'll just square the two terms. But that isn't necessarily the case because you are going to have terms in the middle if you're using FOIL or you're using the expansion. So x plus 5 squared is our example. And we're going to have x plus 5 upon x plus 5. So, regardless of whether you use FOIL or whether you use splitting that first bracket, you're going to end up with exactly the same answer. You're just going to do one less line of working if you use FOIL. So we'll do it both ways. So I'm going to write the first term from my first bracket, and then I'm going to write the second bracket x plus 5, and then I'm going to write the second term, plus 5, and then I'm going to write my second bracket, x plus 5. Now I'm going to do my expanding. So I'm going to do x multiplied by x gives me x squared. I'm going to do x multiplied by plus 5 gives me plus 5x. I'm going to do plus 5 times x, which gives me another plus 5x. And then I'm going to do plus 5 times plus 5 gives me a plus 25. And so that's going to give me an answer of x squared. I'm going to join that plus 5x and plus 5x together to give me 10x plus 25. Now, if I was to use FOIL, I've got x multiplied by x gives me x squared. I've got x multiplied by 5 gives me plus 5x. I've got plus 5 multiplied by x gives me plus 5x. And I've got plus 5 multiplied by plus 5 gives me plus 25. So you can see there, I've got exactly what I had here in the second line of working out. And then I'm going to combine those like terms together. giving me a final answer of x squared plus 10x plus 25. So we, you can see we have exactly the same answer at the end for x plus 5 all squared. Now you may have noticed that those middle terms are exactly the same. So there is a shortcut quick method um, because those middle terms are always equal when you're squaring a bracket. And the quick method is square the first term twice the product. Now you've got to remember that product means that you're multiplying the terms together and then you're doubling it and then you're squaring the second term. So if we're going to expand and simplify 4x minus 10 all squared then we're going to use this quick method. So step one is square the first term. So we're going to square the first term and that gives us 16x squared. Then it tells us to twice the product. So the product of those two terms is 4x multiplied by negative 10, which gives us negative 40x. And then we're going to twice that. So negative 40x times 2 gives us negative 80x. And then we're going to square the second term. Now it's really important to remember that if you're squaring a negative number, you end up with a positive answer. So negative 10 multiplied by negative 10 is positive 100. And so 4x minus 10 all squared is 16x squared, take away 80x plus 100. So 
if we're expanding and simplifying with more than one term, again, we've got to think bod mass. So this time we're going to have to square that bracket before we multiply it by the negative 2. So we've got 5b squared minus 2 upon 3b minus 2 all squared plus 11. So we're going to bring that 5b squared and we're going to take that negative 2. Now we're going to square that bracket. And we're going to use a shortcut, but you could quite easily write it as two separate brackets if you don't remember the shortcut. 3b all squared is 9b squared. The product is 3b multiplied by negative 2 is negative 6b, and we're doubling it to get minus 12b. And then minus 2 all squared is negative 2 times negative 2, which is plus 4. And then we're going to bring that plus 11 down. Now, we're not finished with our simplifying yet because we need to expand that bracket. So we still need to bring down our 5b squared. And we're going to multiply out that bracket. So we've got minus 2 multiplied by 9b squared gives us minus 18b squared. Then we've got negative 2 multiplied by negative 12b. So negative 2 times negative 12 gives us positive 24. And then we've got the b. And then we've got negative 2 multiplied by plus 4, which is going to give us negative 8. And then we need to remember to bring down that plus 11. So now we need to go and have a look and see if there's anything that we can gather. So we're going to collect our like terms. So we've got a 5b squared and a minus 18b squared that we can join together. And we've also got a negative 8 and a positive 11 that we can uh, collect together. So 5b squared minus 18b squared is going to give us a negative 13b squared. Our plus 24b doesn't have anything to collect with. And then negative 8 plus 11 is going to give us negative 3. So the expanding and simplifying of 5b squared minus 2 upon 3b minus 2 all squared plus 11 is negative 13b squared plus 24b minus 3.